Alright guys, JDog706 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of most if not all lag on your gaming console, your PC or your laptop. Now these steps all you have to do is follow and download the links in the description and you will have a smooth running PC if it wasn't smooth already before. So the first step, if you do not know your computer specifications you need to get those immediately and a program I can recommend is CPU-Z, the link will be in the description for the download. CPU-Z will give you a detailed list of specifications on your computer. See right here I have an AMD Turion 64X2 Mobile TL60. It's a dual core processor um, clocked at 2 gigahertz and its performance rating is 3.2 gigahertz. It's a beast processor for only 20 bucks on eBay. Um, so you can't get much better than that. So you have your processor, you go to your graphics card. I have an ATI Radeon HD 3200. It is a pretty pretty good graphics card it can handle crisis on medium high settings vindictus on medium high settings and all that size 256 megabytes um, in the actual memory it has one gig and the shader for version is 4.0 so it's pretty good and can handle what I can um, play and what I do on my laptop which is video editing and stuff like that not don't forget you need your memory okay you need to know how much RAM you have in your computer I have four gigs of DDR2 memory um, it's dual channel so it is really good. Um, it can handle most of the games I can play because not games don't require more than four gigs of RAM usually. So now do you have your computer specifications? Another download you need to get is CCleaner. Once you have CCleaner, it'll tell you basically everything you need to know your operating system to your processor, RAM, and graphics card. See or and what version operating system you want to have 64 bit. Um, what you would do is you would hit analyze and it will scan everything and tell you what needs to be removed. This can save a lot of space on your computer. So run the cleaner after you analyze and everything. I'll do that after this video. Run the cleaner and everything and that would help a lot. Third thing is Game Booster. Game Booster you can get from Islebit. It is really awesome when boosting games. See right here you have the Game Booster um, boost and launch tab right here you can pick a game and just hit boost and launch and it will launch that game and boost it specifically by closing tasks that don't need to be open on Windows 7 I switched to boost mode as you see here this is what I got before boost and performance after boost was enhanced by 42 percent 16 services stop 6 processes stop it is good and it will increase your frames per second game booster it's free it's 3.5 beta so it is currently at the highest it has right now It'll also tell you your computer's temperature and hard disk space and its temperature as well. As you see, my CPU's processor is at 147 degrees Fahrenheit. It's usually on a low of like 40 to 50 degrees um, Celsius, so that's usually the lowest that it's at. Another thing is right here in Windows 7. Okay, Windows 7 Arrow uses a lot. Okay, it's just you basically using up a lot of unneeded um, memory in your video card. So what you would do is go to right click and personalize. You would scroll all the way down and if you're on Vista, do this as well. Go to Windows Classic and it will change everything for straight performance. So everything will run a lot better. And the last thing you need not to forget is update your video guard graphics drivers to the highest. See, I can't do that because I always have a bug when I update my AMD. When I get the Vision Control Center, um, the newest I believe is 12.4, 12.6 maybe and I always get some kind of when I play in my MMOs it'll mess up the graphics horribly so I'm on 11.11 um, .11 right now but make sure your video card drivers are up to date that is another thing that I have to stress if you want your games to run great mine runs straight for me so there's no need for me to worry about that but yep just follow these instructions go to the download links and you can have your computer gaming in no time it'll be running a lot smoother and all the I hope all these steps help you leave a comment below if it did don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video thanks for watching guys and until next time take care peace